probably will hear crying children in the background. I couldn't sneak away to do this all day long. We were so busy. Um, just with, like, I didn't even clean. Facebook can see this. The bed behind me. Hey, Hannah, what's going on? Um, yeah, so I'm on Facebook and our oils community group, and I'm on Instagram. But I tried to get on here all day, and I'm so sorry. But today, I was supposed to talk to you guys about green cleaning in your laundry room. And it's one of the places that is super toxic. Do you guys know that, so I'm reading some stats here, that 83% of fabric softeners get a D or F rating from the Envi Environmental Working Group, which is a big deal, you guys. So there's, there's harmful chemicals there's harmful toxins in, in everything that we're doing in our cleaners, in our laundry detergent, in our softeners. In, and it's, it's something that is on our skin all day long. And skin being our, our biggest organ, right? It's actually soaking up a lot more things than you would think. Like, oh, it's just clothes. It's not like going, not drinking it. I'm not eating it. But you actually are absorbing a lot of these things that you're using to clean your clothes. So I'm just, I'm not even going to show you them because I don't have the stuff with me, which is funny because I made Patrick stop at Costco and get me the huge thing of white vinegar to actually do this with you guys. But like I said, I'm kind of hiding in this camera on my computer sucks. So I'm going to, had to do it while it was still kind of light out. So I have a couple recipes for you guys for our laundry room, but I do want to mention that before even recipes go because sometimes people are just so not DIY people, which I am not either. Get the On Guard laundry detergent, guys. It is so good. I'm obsessed with it. It is, um, it is color safe. It's free of synthetic fragrances. Obviously, we use essential oils. It has a 10 ml bottle of On Guard in it. It's great at removing stains. It's ingredients from sustainable natural based sources. It's safe to wash all temperatures and it's environmentally friendly. So it's a really good option for those of us who don't love to DIY. Um, and for those of you who are already on, um, who are already have their oils, look in, um, look in our user area and you can find a recipe for, um, another really simple DIY laundry detergent. That's not what I'm going to be talking about today, but it is super simple. And if you're more into like making your own things on the cheap, that is an awesome way to go. But for me, I love the laundry detergent. The other thing is the, let's see. So these recipes, you guys, so good. I am definitely doing this one, the washing machine cleaner. So if you guys are taking notes, write this down. Um, the washing machine cleaner, so this is like for people with front loaders. Um, we, the ingredients are one cup vinegar, one cup baking soda, 20 drops maluka, 20 drops lemon. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the wet things, the vinegar and the essential oils in like, I'll do it in a, um, in like a measuring cup, right? And you're going to add the baking soda by itself in the drum of the empty machine and close the door. And you add the vinegar mixture to the bleach cup of the washer. You'll run a wash cycle with an extra rinse. And then once that cycle's done, you'll open it up and you'll wipe out all that gunk from in your washing machine, you guys. It's like the part that we don't ever want to do. And I don't even have, I, like, if you guys watched yesterday's, I don't even have paper towels. So I'll have to find like a dirty, like a washcloth, like an old rag or something to wipe that out. Um, so I'm excited to do that one because it is time for me to do that. Um, laundry softener. So you could do, so what I personally do for laundry softener is I usually just add a bit of vinegar to the softener compartment. I have a front loader. And I'll add a couple drops of Purify. So very basic level. Or this one, this recipe is one 64-ounce bag of Epsom salts, 40 drops of lavender, 30 drops of maluka, 20 drops of lemon, 
and then you'll put the Epsom salt into a large glass or stainless bowl. You'll add essential oils, stir it up, and store it in a glass jar. Then you'll just use about a half a cup for um, medium loads, about a quarter cup for small loads, and just place it in the wash cycle um, at any temperature. It says my phone's dying. Lavender dryer sponges. sponges. So instead of dryer balls, so I actually just use dryer balls, and when I can find them, because the kids steal them there's probably some, some guest rooms turned into like a laundry pile for me unfortunately but I'll usually just have dryer ball dryer balls the wool dryer balls you can get them on Amazon doTERRA sells them um, seasonally and then I'll just add a couple drops purify lavender lemon people do wild orange however you want your clothes to smell when you're done doing laundry but the dryer sponges I think this is pretty neat so you can get like a glass jar and you combine a half a cup baking soda, half a cup vinegar, about five drops lavender, and then you have just sponges, and I got some from the dollar store. Super simple. Combine the baking soda hot water in the glass container and stir, add the vinegar and mix, and add the lavender, and then stir until it's all, it's all combined, and then you'll, you'll put those sponges in that container, shake it around, <clears throat> And then once you go to put it in the in the dryer with your wet clothes, you'll just take out a sponge and wring it out a bit. And then you just put the um, sponge back in the container when you're done with it. So simple. These are such cool things, you guys, that um, make it so easy <coughs> for us to switch to green cleaners and linen spray. So in a glass bottle, you always want to use a glass, guys, for um, – with essential oils because the oils will react with plastics. You always want to use glass. So this one, this recipe uses two cups distilled water, a tablespoon rubbing alcohol, and 15 drops of lavender. And alcohol, or you can also use witch hazel, acts more like a preservative. So whenever you're making something in a glass bottle, you either want to add a little bit of something like witch hazel or, or alcohol, or you just want to make it small enough where it's only going to last um, a couple days for you. So this is it, you guys. This was the laundry room day two. I want you to enter my giveaway. So if you guys are in my private oils community, make sure to, to enter that. And by to enter, I need a picture of what it is that you made and stick it under the, the day's challenge. So hopefully this helps you guys. And I'm excited to see what you make. I'll talk soon. Oh, I'll be on tomorrow. I'm not, I don't remember what day it is tomorrow as far as what um, we're doing for cleaning, but I'll be on live then too. All right, have a good night. And here.